Well, moving now to the venue change of a major sporting event right here in Central Kentucky. The ISCO Championship Golf Tournament is moving from Lexington. Sports reporter Forrest Tucker is standing by over the phone right now. Forrest, the tournament will still be played in Kentucky, correct? Doug, Lisa, good afternoon. Hurstbourne Country Club in Louisville is the new home of this event starting next year, 2025. So the ISCO Championship that we all knew and loved, the Keen Trace Golf Club, well, it's over. That was the last iteration of the event that we just saw a few weeks ago. Hurstbourne is 11 miles from downtown Louisville, so in a pretty prime spot. And according to Golf Digest, is one of the best courses in our Commonwealth. Forrest, there are several factors that led to moving this tournament. Can you give us a recap of those? Doug, I think you have to really go back to about a year or so ago after the 2023 Barbasol Championship. Um, it had no sponsor for a while. Barbasol was not going to continue with uh, the tournament, and it was the Kentucky Championship as a placeholder name. Then Jimmy Court Kirchdorfer. The CEO of ISCO came in, and only really a few months before the tournament um, happened this past month, um, and his Louisville-based piping and irrigation company, ISCO, came in and said, we'll be the title sponsor. Now, the backstory of that is that Jimmy is a really huge golf fan, a huge advocate for it in the state of Kentucky. So really, if there's going to be local passion about it, which it is uh, from Jimmy's side of things and the team behind it um, at ISCO and the PGA Tour, then Jimmy is probably the best guy to do that. He fits the job. I saw him at the Southern Amateur at Idle Hour Country Club off of Richmond Road. He was caddying for his son last week. He really loves the game of golf, and he is the key cog in the gears that have turned this and have the influence of bringing it to Louisville, but also keeping it in Kentucky. Gotcha. And Forrest, what things about the tournament are going to stay the same? I think it's very key to say, Lisa, that Kentucky's on the map as a golf state, and that's still going to be the case. Louisville gains the tournament um, after an incredible PGA Championship at Valhalla, uh, even though there was some poor press about um, some of the events surrounding um, that tournament back when it happened. Um, you know, we also have a tournament that can really catapult the golfers to the next level. Harry Hall, who just won the 2024 iteration of this tournament, got his first ever PGA Tour win. And that's a really crazy thing for a golfer. It's a great thing. It gets them to new heights. He can compete on the PGA and the DP World Tour because of exemptions that that win uh, comes with. He has 300 FedEx Cup points to his name, and he has $270,000 in the bank with it. Um, so he did it in a really crazy fashion. This tournament always seems to go to a playoff at Keen Trace when it was there. Um, which is very exciting. This time it was five golfers vying for one spot. So the drama is there. The implications of, of having a golfer win this that you will see on uh, the PGA Tour in the future is you know, a hope. And I think that uh, it, it's good that it's back in Kentucky, but it's difficult to see it go from Lexington. Yeah. Uh, my thoughts exactly on that. Forrest, thanks for that update. Uh, Forrest Tucker uh, reporting by phone and attended the, uh, the press conference there for uh, the future of this tournament. And yeah, grateful that it's staying in the Commonwealth of right, Kentucky. But it will but, be missed uh, here in Lexington. Liked having it right around the corner yes. there in Nicholasville.